Hi, y'all. So, I'm going to do a conch piercing update today. Um, so, I got it pierced on November 30th at Blue Diamond Studios in Batesville, Arkansas. And this is what it looks like. You saw it in my last video, but here's another look. I just got there. I just put in my uh, snowflake obsidian plugs. Okay. So anyway, so getting it done was, you know, it hurt. It, it was bearable though, so I didn't like. It was funny because I didn't have like, I didn't have any like light head light headedness or like gonna pass out type thing like I did with my nostril piercing, but it hurt. But I it, I could I could handle it. And so the weird thing is, is like immediately after it was done, it didn't really hurt. Um, but like the two days after it was done, it was um, pretty sore, I suppose. After after like the two days of it being sore, it seemed to be pretty okay. Right now, like I just got through cleaning it a bit ago, as well as my upper helix right there um which i'm having been having trouble with um i just cleaned it this this doesn't it's not it doesn't even hurt it doesn't hurt unless i'm bumping it or touching it though it might get a bit itchy point but this one seems to be doing pretty good for some reason my upper helix is worse off and it's way older like this thing is that this thing will be a year old uh, in April of next year so this thing has had to go, go through the trauma and I have a feeling that if I'm going to get these healed up and keep them I'm going to have to buy some bars for them because I think the rings are just constantly rubbing and causing friction irritation so if I'm have a hope in hell of getting these to heal up good well is to put jewelry in there that doesn't move so yeah anyway so this yeah it's doing pretty good um tomorrow well it'll be two weeks old so doing pretty well and I I've had pretty much zero trouble sleeping like like short term after it was done I was like so careful not to bump it because I knew it would hurt like a mother fudger but since it's been calmed down and in its healing stage or whatever this may be now um, I've had no trouble sleeping I just sleep like I always do and the way that I sleep is like this and so I automatically have like a gap between my ear and it's like on the outer part too usually I sleep on the side of my face on my pillow and I sleep on a slant because of my what my body does I just find that the most comfortable I hate sleeping flat so I sleep slant ways which probably I think it causes me neck issues but um I, I can't really do anything about that yeah I just I sleep in like I always do and uh, I don't have much issue with it and so I have a feeling that this might be sore for a long time but as far as it getting in the way it hasn't been that bad now this bar in here is way too long like I'm pretty sure on one of my previous videos like if I'm looking this way I look up behind me you can see that this bar hangs on the outer edge of my ear like it sticks out from behind my ear it's really long and it needs to be a shorter bar I don't know if I should I don't know when I should be changing it um, I'm assuming well my my uh, piercer said it took him eight months for his to stop being painful stop hurting or whatever so and I think he had like a larger gauge if I'm not mistaken like maybe an 8 gauge or something so that might be different than what I've got going 
My, mine pierced at a 14 gauge, which is pretty decent size. That's like the size you start with when you first start stretching a normal ear earlobe piercing. So, yeah, it's, it's a decent size. So, yeah, I think, have I covered everything? So, it's doing, it's doing pretty good. Um, doesn't hurt unless I'm bumping it or messing with it. And... I don't have any trouble sleeping, thank the lord. Um, you know, I actually was testing that theory before, like I kept thinking about get. I actually was thinking about this piercing for a while, like I was just seeing like all the lovely pieces, like anatometal flower uh, librette ends, and you could look at that stuff online, but there were just some gorgeous pieces you could put in the conch, and it's such a... It's such a it's such a decent area in there that you could put in like statement pieces type thing and I think the ones that caught my eye the most were the ones where there's like a it's not a CVR but it's like a big gem cluster for the bead it's stunning I don't know if I'll ever wear those because rings I've from my personal experience they seem to be causing issues so I don't know I'm happy with just a beautiful stud just like a flower jet stud or whatever I just just something nice there I just I wanted to even my ears out and I would think about this for a long time and then testing the theory if I could sleep and, whoops about about that um, and yeah it's been good so I guess I'm pretty lucky with that I think I'm looking into, I don't know how long, healing to, I'll probably take about a year for it to heal, I don't know. Hopefully I'll have better luck with this than what's going on here. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out what to do with the, my double helix piercing. I probably should, I probably just need to buy some Mars for I'm going to put in and then just leave it the hell alone. If I change these again, it'll be like the fourth time I've changed them. Basically, with, with these woods, is first I had the CBRs in, like the same ones I got in now. Um, and then I ch changed them myself to some neo metal librettes that I have, that I've had in my collection for a while now. And then now they're back to CBRs again. So that, they've been, I say, they've been changed out twice. Yeah. That's right. I had the CBRs first, librettes, and then CBRs again. So if I change them again, that'll be the third time they've been changed out. Now that's probably not very good for them, but maybe if I baby them real well and just take good care of them, they might straighten up. Maybe I'm just not meant to have upper ear deals. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I think that's everything. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll ask, I'll answer them for you. And just leave whatever comments you want down there too. And remember, be happy, be healthy, and be kind, and never give up. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in my next video. P.S. Sorry, oh, I'm sorry for whatever this is. I don't know, my hair is kind of strange at the moment. And I got some, uh, mom got some hair dye for me. And, uh, so, and I got everything I need to do my hair. I'm just trying to figure out if I should just bleach my whole head and do it purple. Or if I should just do my bangs. I don't know what to do yet, so. You'll see me with purple hair at some point, I'm sure. Okay, I'll see you in my next video before I ramble on for another hour. Mwah.